Uh, but we are super, super excited that we get to share and witness what these five people are, how they're walking in obedience to God's word this morning as they go through the waters of baptism, just declaring and showing us how they've put their faith in Jesus, um, which is super, super exciting for us all and especially exciting for them. You know, throughout scripture, especially in the book of Acts, it always tells us that people believed first and then they were baptized. And that's why we call it believer's baptism. Um, and so that is exactly what is happening. There's nothing special that's inside this water at all this morning. Uh, but what it does represent, as we read in Romans 6, verse 3 to 5, is that as they go through the waters of baptism, they are expressing their unity with Jesus. As they go in the water, they, they dine in their old self. And as they come out the water, they've been resurrected with Christ to their new self. Um, and what they are declaring this morning, that the old is gone and the new has come in their life. And so we are so super excited for them. And what they're telling us is that they are going to be walking a road of just complete reliance on the Lord as they keep on putting their faith in Him, keep on trusting Him for great things, as they surrender to His love, surrender to His grace and His guidance in their life, all through the power and the help of the Holy Spirit. So we're super excited to share that with them. So with that said, Tessa, please won't you join me in the water? There we go. Grab my hand. Nice and warm. Her first words were, that's nice. <laughs> it's so good to, to be able to baptize Tessa this morning. She's actually part of the link group that I'm part of, so I've got to know her really well over the last uh, couple of years, and just seeing how God has grown you, seeing your passion for Jesus has just been incredible. So it's my privilege this morning to be able to baptize you. So Tessa, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and so first of all, I want to ask you, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? I do. And have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior and received the forgiveness of your sins? I have. Well then, based on the confession of your sin and uh, your own request, <laughs> I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Cool. Caitlin, won't you join me? Nice and warm, eh? Much better than the pool at home. <laughs> it's so incredible that I get to baptize Caitlin this morning at the age of 10 years old. As you guys might know, that baptism has nothing to do with age, it has everything to do with faith. And Caitlin is declaring her faith in Jesus this morning, that she's super excited just to show everyone how much she loves Jesus, um, and that she's, amen. And this morning, joining with her is her mom, Taryn, and it's such a special occasion uh, for, for you and for Ed in the congregation. Um, so Caitlin, you want to hold on to my hand over here? Okay, just over here, my girlie, like that. And just come a bit further. I, don't, I would hate you to hit your head. All right. Okay. So, Katie, I'm going to ask you two questions. My well, first question is, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? And mm -hmm. you have. Okay, great. <laughs> right. So, based on your confession of your faith, and at your own request, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Henry, you want to join me in the water? <laughs> you have to get out there, okay? Okay, you, you can't stay in here. I, I get to stay in here. You want to stand in the corner? Wait for you. <laughs> cool. Henry, it's just coming a little bit forward. It's so, been so cool to get to know you over the last while and just seeing what, you're in the testimony of what Jesus has done in your life 
and just seeing how you've put your faith in him and you keep on trusting him. So it's been so incredible to do that. And today, stepping out in faith, just declaring to everyone how much you love Jesus. So I'm going to ask you two questions here, and you want to put your hands in mine, just so let's rather do it this way. That'll be a little bit better. And that's all good. That's all good. It's better for me, you know what I'm saying? It's probably easier for you, but not good for me. But I'm going to ask you two questions and say, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes, I do. And have you accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Okay. So based on your confession of your faith and at your own request, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Theo, how's it going? Rebecca, you don't need your three more witsu witsu yeah. for this. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's come a bit forward for me. It's been such a privilege for me to get to know Theo of the over the last about a year and a half or so. I've been about there. Um, being involved with the album and all these different things of how you blessed us and the incredible conversations that we've had. It's been so encouraging to me and just seeing how you've, you've seen and realized that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And that's incredible to see how you put your faith in him and you, you are so keen to walk a journey with Jesus. And this morning you were walking out in obedience to his word and I'm so super stoked that we get to do this together. So you just want to hold my hand, I'm going to, I'm going to let's go the other hand as well. There we go, that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> you can put the other hand on too if you feel okay. like it. <laughs> but I want to ask you two questions. I'll say, Theo, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? I do. And have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Great. Right. Then based on your confession and on your own request, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Terence, it's been so good to get to know you over the last while and to see how you're just incredibly in love with Jesus and how you love your family so much. And for me, it's been so refreshing to see how much passion you have and how much hunger you have after the things of God. Um, and I'm just praying that God will keep on increasing that, just revealing himself to you in, in incredible ways and special ways. So it's my privilege this morning to be able to baptize you. So I have two questions for you. Let's get our hands ready in, <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, get the knees ready to, <laughs> to bend. Um, but I've got two questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? I do. Great. And have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes, I have. Great. And based on your confession of faith, and at your own request, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 